Can the study of the healthy mind help us understand the disturbed mind? Are research tools available that can, for a few hours, powerfully alter consciousness, thinking, emotion, and perception, so that these facets of mental health will be more readily understood? On the right is Dr. Sidney Cohen, chairman of research at the VA Neuropsychiatric Hospital in Los Angeles. With him is Mr. Gerald Hurd, distinguished writer, whose books explore the thoughts and strivings of man. One, a scientist. The other, a philosopher. They are studying LSD-25 as a means of probing into man's consciousness. This subject of human awareness has always fascinated man. He has experimented with every kind of root and leaf, the Nepenthe of the ancient Greeks, the peyote cactus of the Indians, magic mushrooms of Mexico and Scandinavia. Lysergic acid is the latest and most important, a derivative of ergot. Its psychic activity was accidentally discovered by Dr. Albert Hoffman in Switzerland 15 years ago. It's now used in research centers all over the world to study behavior. It induces the best working model of schizophrenia, allowing states of altered consciousness to be analyzed in the laboratory. The LSD-25 states may one day teach us as much about mental health as mental disease, as much of creativity as of madness. Here is part of an interview with the subject just before LSD is to be administered. My husband is an employee here at the VA, and he told me that they were looking for normal people, and uh, I volunteered. I see. Uh, do you feel you're normal? <laughs> I hope I'm normal. I, I think so. Well, uh, a little while back, you took uh, quite a series of psychological tests, and uh, uh, I can assure you that you're a very stable and uh, well-balanced person as a result of the tests. And uh, how do you feel about uh, uh, coming here and drinking this strange uh, uh, material? I'm a little, a little nervous, perhaps. Well, I think that's normal. I, I think that you're entitled to a certain amount of apprehension about going in, into some unknown situation. Just why are you volunteering for this project? Well, I really feel it would give me an opportunity to explore a part of myself that I wouldn't have a chance to otherwise. Would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? I graduated from the University of Southern California, and then I taught high school for a number of years, and uh, I'm married, and uh, 15 years I'm married. I have a little boy who's five. We moved to the beach. Uh, yes, Utopia, and uh, we live right by the water, and I'm not teaching anymore. I'm just, well, I'm a housewife. Well, I think it's time for you to have your lysergic acid. Drink this down, and we'll be back after a while and see how you're doing. This is a glass of water, colorless, tasteless. It contains 100 gamma of LSD-25, one-tenth of a milligram, the equivalent of one-six-hundredth of a grain. An ounce of this material will make 150,000 such doses. Let us observe the effect some three hours later. <laughs> well, tell me. Well, I just couldn't. I couldn't possibly tell you. It's, it's here. Can't you feel it? This whole room, this... this Everything is in color, and, and I can feel the air. I can, I can see it. I can see all the molecules. I, I'm, I'm part of it. I, I'm, can't you see it? I'm trying. Oh, it's just like 
like you're released or you're free or I don't know how I can tell you. How do you feel inside? Inside? I don't have any inside. Is it all one? It, it would be all one if, if, if you weren't here, and if, 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 if nobody else, yes, everything is one. I, you have nothing to do with it. I am one with what I am. I can see everything in color. Everything, you have to see the air. You can't believe it. And... And the dimensions and all the, the prisms and the rays and, and everything coming down through you and, and moving. What does this all mean to you? I've never seen such infinite beauty in my life. It's like a, a curtain or a spider web. Or, can you see it? It's right here in front of me, right now. Watch. No. Oh, good heavens. You know what went through me? It passed right through me. Could you feel it? I would... It, I, I, me? I wasn't any me. all this pleasant or unpleasant? Or aren't these the right words? What seems pleasant or unpleasant? There isn't anything pleasant or unpleasant. It's too beautiful. It's, it's, how can you think it? I mean, it's, can't you feel it? Everything is so beautiful and lovely and and alive, you, you shouldn't say anything about anything not being. This is reality, this is, if you look right over there, are you looking, can you? Yes, what should I say? I could talk in Technicolor, or, or let you see, can you, did you say you can see it? No, I can't quite see it, tell me about it. It's, I can't tell you about it. If you can't see it, then you'll just never know it. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> It's I'm getting control of it now. You're getting control of it? How? Well, I'm not letting it go through me anymore now. It's just going to stay right where it is, and I can put my fingers in and out of it. I got the atmosphere in the universe right here. It's right in front of me now, and it's not going to move at all, except when I tell it to. You said this is reality. What about what you were earlier this morning? Isn't that reality? You know, you're... You just wait, I'll get rid of you. <laughs> In about two minutes flat. Well, tell me what's happening. I'm shutting you out. I'm attempting to, anyway. Because I'm in control of this whole universe, and I'm going to put a whole thing right in this area and, and make believe that you don't exist. What were you uh, telling me uh, just now about how <coughs> things look? Wait, I have to... Oh, 
We have to be able to concentrate, first of all. And and then you can make them move by getting it now. Do you see all those patterns? Well, it's off. The whole room is full of the patterns. And it's sifting down through the light. And it's like, well, if there was a snowflake and it was magnified a, a million trillion times and all of it had color and and it was moving, and then you were in the middle of it. But I want to try and pull it away with it just a minute. Maybe I can do it. You said that uh, you hoped by taking lysergic acid to learn a little bit about you. To know more about me? <laughs> I haven't thought of myself at all. I, I can't think of myself. I don't, I don't care about myself, for one. This is the most important thing that has ever happened, that I don't care about Myself as an entity. I mean, I can't you see this? Can't you see all this? Well, this everything is so alive, and and you're just part of it. There isn't you as one thing. It's like my pulling one of these little little prisms of a pattern of a, it's so small out from this whole room which is all moving in, in color. Don't you see? No, I don't. You're not with me. That's the trouble. I... I got me getting it. It's all coming back. Can you see it all moving, everything, and coming down from the patterns in 18 million dimensions? Can you see it? it no, you can't see it, can you? No, I can't. And the trouble is I probably will never be able to see it again because I can see it now. Is this going to end? It's going to end if you can't see it. No, no, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. No, you're right. It's there more than ever, because once you've seen it, then you know it's there, and then you don't ever have to worry about it anymore. About it being there or not being there, because you know it's there, you've seen it. You don't have to have it anymore. You only have to experience it just once. That minute speck of LSD carried by the bloodstream into a woman's brain induced this intensely heightened visual phenomena, the elation, a feeling of subject-object unity, a strange new reality. Is this another dimension of awareness? Asks the philosopher. A cosmos of pure color, a pattern and feeling wiped clean of everyday grime, a gateway to the beyond, which is within? What meaning does this have for us, asks the doctor. Has she experienced hallucinations, deep personalization, hypomanic grandiosity? Does this help us understand the very nature of psychosis? Of all the drugs and medicaments that are being used at present, what do you think is the Strangers and its effects, and perhaps one of the more promising to research with. Well, actually, Gerald, it isn't the tranquilizing group. It isn't. Uh, it's the 
group of so-called hallucinogenic drugs as typified most vividly by lysergic acid. You mean a thing that produces real illusions? In some people they do, yes. But not in everybody? Not in everybody. There's, there's a great variation in, in their effect. Do they help you to understand the mind? These are very important uh, drugs to help us uh, investigate the distortions of perception, of yes. consciousness, of thinking that go on both in the disturbed person and in the person who is, I don't, I hardly know of a word to describe him, who is the, on the other side of the uh, spectrum. The ultraviolet, not the infrared. Yes. And in those cases, you do think that you can see more deeply into the depths of the mind? Oh yes, this is a wonderful research tool. Uh, and we have learned much and will learn much more uh, using uh, a drug like lysergic acid. And I suppose the doctors themselves, yourself included, have taken it. Oh yes, it's important because uh, here we are able to uh, feel with the uh, troubles the troubled visions, the uh, distorted thinking uh, of our patients. This is most important. And even with uh, their extreme happiness occasions? True. True. Now, Gerald, I know you have great personal experience with lysergic acid. Uh, what do you think of it? To do that in two minutes, eternity in an hour. It's almost impossible, of course, as all the patients say to describe it. You can only say it isn't, it isn't, it isn't. Trying to tell people what it is. Well, of course, I don't know any of our friends, Sid, that have taken it, but haven't said this one thing in common. Well, I never knew anything like that in the whole of my life. And one or two people have said to me, I've said it to myself, that's what death is going to be like. And oh, what fun it will be. How do you mean that? Well, I mean that there are the colors and the beauties, the designs, the beautiful way things appear. People themselves, dull people that I thought dull, appear fascinating, interesting, mysterious, wonderful. But that's only the beginning. A man was saying it this afternoon who was taking it. Suddenly you notice that there aren't these separations. That we're not on a separate island shouting across to somebody else and trying to hear what they're saying and misunderstanding them. You know, you use the word yourself, empathy. This thing's flowing underneath. We're parts of a single continent. It meets underneath the water. And with that goes such delight, the sober certainty of waking bliss. Milton's great phrase. Or to take another queer little poem, to those that know thee not, no words can paint. And those who know thee know all words are faint. But you don't forget it. It remains there haunting you continually. You know, I can't doubt. That's the way we ought to live. You're not out of this world. You're in this world for the first time. All the rest of the time one's been out of it, bothering about oneself, thinking whether one likes it and so on, instead of getting in, swimming in this ocean of being. It isn't, of course, exciting in that way. It's the most peaceful thing in the world. And the most important thing is, was said by a man who centuries ago experienced it, what good does it do? He was a brilliant lawyer. He ceased to be a lawyer in order to become a great poet. He said, it brings me to a better order in all my living. Everything makes sense. Everything is there, apt, ready. I'm not bothering about the past. I'm not thinking about what will happen to me in the future. I'm totally here. Presence of mind, presence of heart, presence of will. Totally present, totally alive. And
This film has been presented as a demonstration of the LSD phenomenon. And in the hope that it may be of value to all those who are in daily contact with the problems of emotional illness and of mental health.